when that wraps up the best of the action. Vinnie Orkins may be on his way out of Shamrock Park, but it didn't seem to have an effect on the home side last night. They put the pressure on Cliftonville right from the start. Wesley Boyd coming close with this effort after being put through by Gary Hamilton. It was Cliftonville, though, who took the lead after 21 minutes. It followed some lacklustre play in the Ports midfield. Gary Kennedy taking full advantage and playing in Nathan McConnell, who fired a tremendous shot past David Muskelly. The goal seemed to stir Porter Down into action. A deft Gary Hamilton touch led in Richard Clark, who poured through the Cliftonville defence. But Super Paul Strani came to his side's rescue. But on the stroke of half time, Porter Down finally got their reward. Aaron Baker showed dogged determination to keep the ball in play. Hamilton found Clark again, and this time the defender made no mistake. Nine minutes after the break, Porter Down deservedly took the lead. And it was that man, Hamilton, who was again instrumental this time playing in Wesley Boyle to far at home. Man of the match Hamilton was again the provider a few minutes later when he played a high ball into the Cliftonville defence. Skipper Darren Kelly nudged it down for Aaron Baker to slot it past Strani. 3-1 on the night then, making Ports manager Ronnie McFall a happy man. I thought we started off a wee bit sluggish. Uh, <coughs> so I did it. I thought when they scored then, uh, uh, it shook us up a wee bit and we came back into the game and I thought it <coughs> the first spell. 20 minutes or so, 25 minutes, really played some excellent football and scored some good goals. 